So, um, yeah, we've got Novridge raffia and these Novridge leaves. There has been a shortage of sneaky leaves. Obviously, they've been out of stock. Um, lots of people are using lots of different kinds of solutions, mostly Chinese leaves. But are the Novridge leaves any better than buying uh, leaves from your local craft store? Let's have a close look at them and we'll, uh, we'll see what we've got here. So they come in a box. Um, they come one colour per box. I, here's some of the leaves. These are the green leaves. The green leaves are the leaves that have impressed me the most in their colour. They have got a very natural colour to them. Let me have a look at the close-up. They've got, they come with these tab things. And this is, this is quite clever because we're all using um, cable ties. And the leaves got this little kind of like a plastic, almost like a almost like a drawing pin kind of thing. And that, so you, you'll put that through your suit and pop that in. The mat, it's mounted there. Now, I had my doubts about this. I thought it would pull off, but it's like if you're pulling it, it it's 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 decent. It holds. And I, I, I did have my doubts, but the plastic seems okay. How many times, whether it wears out over time or not, I don't know. But the mounting system is quite good. I think it's, I think it's quite innovative. Now, I haven't tried it on the KMCS yet. And to be honest, I'm very, I'm unlikely to put it on the KMCS and I'll tell you why a little bit later. Now the colors are, they're quite natural. I think the greens, I think the greens are good. Somewhere on the ground. They're quite vivid, which is nice. Um, these are called a fern color. I think they call them fern. Let's put them on this tree here. So the greens are the ones that impress me the most. Pretty good. Pretty good. So first impressions of the green. I like them. I think greens are good. Getting the greens right on, on your leaves is one of the hardest things to do. So yeah, good job on the greens. There's another style of leaf, this one here, a smaller. Um, it's okay, personally, I prefer the bigger colors of these. They spring out a bit more um, rather than these smaller ones. Now, one thing I did notice, how they're gonna age. I've done some simple tests indoors with water and I've had some of the leaves have started when they get wet that is one of the issues I've had with them. There's a big difference between these leaves and the sneaky leaves is, sneaky leaves, the stalk goes on this reverse side and it also goes on the top side and it's kind of double stuck or whether it's, whether it's heated and it's sort of molded in slightly and it becomes very, very hard for it to come, up, come off. As you can see with these leaves, the stem is only on the reverse side and it's just glued on and this is one of the issues with it so just just with a little scraping you see it comes off quite easily and on a sneaky leaf on the original sneaky leaves that wouldn't happen this is one of the issues i've had with it that one's okay some of them come off once they start to come off see that one came off quite easily uh, now that that one's come off quite easily and once they start to come off See, that, that one is really easy. So they're glued on. So it comes, that one, not so easy, but it has come off at the end. Oh, there you go, and once it's gone, I wonder whether this is gonna age quite badly. The sneaky leaves are double-sided stems, and they're kind of, this is more like a, I guess a, a, a Chinese, it's a Chinese leaf style that we've had for a long time, where this is a weakness. Now, how this is gonna stand up with the test of time, I don't know. I've not had them out. Some of them are strong, some not so strong. So yeah, I mean, that's that's what they are. That's the structure of them. See that one. I'm not kind of, 
is that that's got to a point where it's stuck really strong. So at the end of that, it's really strong. At the beginning, it wasn't particularly well stuck, and this one wasn't stuck on that well at all, as you can see. But the colours, they're good, aren't they? Good colours on the greens. Let's go on to another colour. This colour is very cool as well. I'm not sure what the name of this one is. They're quite natural, aren't they? It's got the same natural greens. They're not... I like that. That colour's quite good. If you're cut, so these, this is a, would be great for the end of summer season. Obviously, it's got the yellows. This is for a very spe specific time of year, isn't it? The end of summer. See how the leaves up there are just starting to go from green to yellow, and that might be the time. Yeah, maybe. I like them anyway at the right time of year. One of the other things that's quite important is that they react with water as well. I should have brought some water out with me, although it might rain. What's really important is how they react with water. So when you're rained on, are these gonna change shade? I did do some tests on the brown leaves and they did change shade in the wet, which was good. I haven't tested the green, but I'm gonna guess they probably do. I should have brought some water out, so apologies for that. Now these leaves here, this is one of the grayish leaves. I'm not a fan of these leaves here. I don't think these are a great colour. I can't remember. I didn't bring the box out with me. Now this kind of, it's kind of a woody grey colour. You see how it's like tree bark, but it's not like any leaf that I'm aware of or I have in my area. I don't see many leaves going grey. So for me, I mean, I might, maybe there, there are obviously some kind of leaves that do go grey, but for me, not in my area I'm playing. That colour, personally, I would avoid whatever colour that one is, the grey brown, personally, I would avoid that one. The other colour which I quite like is this colour here. And that, that's quite good. For a, a specific time of year in autumn, when you've got those really golden colours I like these. Yeah, the golden colours are good. If you've got these ones, they seem very strong, like before, um, but then occasionally you get, see that one? It's, it's a, good colours, easy to attach. Some of the leaves are strong. Some of them, you saw that as not much effort at all. you're gonna lose them like this that one's strong that one not so strong this is no different like this leaf here is no different to any Chinese leaf you're gonna buy really but this one is this one is strong they're not expensive like for the $15 for a pack again ah, oh, this this one's good I'll come in away little tug but what worries me is if this gets wet, it'll be it'll come away even easier. So you can see, guys, they're they're not all they're not all super strong. They're not all weak. Some of them are strong. Some are weak. I'm not sure what else I can add. I think they're I think the system of attaching them to mesh suits is good. I like the leaves. I think some of the leaves are just going to fall off. I think they're going to come off the stem. Some of them are going to stay. They're easy to put on and off. And yeah, they are what they are. I think. Now, one of the big things for me is they're not, they're not infrared retardant. So if you're into milsims and you put these on your suit, you're gonna glow up like a, like, a, like a Christmas tree to anybody who's got night vision. So that's one thing to bear in mind. They're not IRR. Um, I don't think they're noisy. I don't think they, they don't crumple at all, really. Um, I think the stems are strong. I'm not really sure what else I can add other than... Dog's going crazy. Another thing to avoid is if you buy a bunch of them, don't do what, um, was it Dominic in the video and, and uh, Novridge did, which is just put them on randomly, like mix them all up. Um, I thought the way they used them wasn't very good. I thought that the, the way they applied them to their own suit, I didn't think was great. I think you need to um, be a bit smarter get it out into the area you're playing in and attach them to your suit um, in the area you're gonna be playing in. 
And the great thing about them is because they're easy on, easy off with that system, you are going to be able to move them around and, and change them. And yeah, I can't, I can't really add anything more, guys. I, th I think they're good, um, but they're not perfect. Um, I think you're going to lose some, and, and that's about it, guys. There's not much really that I can say about the raffia, other than I quite like the greens, but I haven't tested it in water. I presume the co if the colours hold, I think the, the green raffia is quite good. That raffia is not great colour. Um, it's just natural raffia. You're going to have to do something with it yourself. This brown raffia, it's okay. Um, personally, I think the person who's got the best brown raffia that I've seen, the best colour, is Recon Raffia in the UK. His brown raffia is amazing. Um, this brown raffia, it's got like this greeny tinge. It's all right. It's okay. The greens are good. The brown, whatever. The natural raffia, yeah, you can just buy that for a penny. I don't know what he's charging for it, but yeah, he's selling raffia. Uh, Kai is asking whether I might make my own sneaky leaves. Um, I would love to, mate, but it's actually easier. Like as as you've seen in these leaves here, as you've seen with these leaves, as Novage is founding out, he's found a factory, presumably in China. I guess they're not. I guess it's not European made. Um, and that's the problem. I personally wouldn't sell this product personally because I don't think I personally wouldn't release this product because it's not as good as it could be. You know, there's quite a few of them doing that now, aren't there? They are what they are, really. Some of these are just coming, just, you know what? That's another one. Like, I'm not really, I'm not tug, I, got, I can't, if I personally, wouldn't I wouldn't be happy releasing that as a product for <sighs> the colors are good but they're not I kind of it's disappointing that they're not holding they're not because some of them are great like some like this leaf here is strong this one is strong like oh it came event but that, that was strong enough like that was strong but some of them are not that one's strong That one's not so strong. Yeah, that's the thing. If one of these leaves get caught on a bramble, they are likely to come off. But again, it's not all of them. Some of them are really strong. Let's try another one. Let's try this one. See that one, see, that one had to be tugged so hard that the stem broke. So that, that was a strong one. But that one, not so much. Good, but not great, I think. See, this mounting system is stronger than the leaves. So if these get caught on thorns and it gets tugged away, you're going to lose leaves before you lose the mounting system. And I haven't even got these wet yet. Um, and when they're wet, I suspect the glue is going to come away even easier. But I'm not, I, I'm not dissing them. I just think that's a weak point. I think the colours are great. So that's that. Dogs, don't go far. I think I'm going to... Uh, crack on with this walk hopefully this insight into the leaves yeah, I've been as honest as I can with them I think the the most honest way um, my my honest opinion would be would I will I use them or not and I think I probably would yes at, like any garnish there's no such thing as a bad garnish if it matches your environment and it works and um, in that regard I think there is definitely uh, are useful them and I probably would use them but they aren't going to be my go-to and I think like, like any garnish you know you've got to get out into the environment and use them I wasn't impressed with the way they were thrown onto their suit in the videos but I would love to see um, a skilled crafter use them and applying them uh, to their to their builds because I think they'll be a very useful addition depending on the kind of area you're playing in getting nice and wet and muddy and uh, yeah, have a good evening, guys. Hope you have a good one. Take it easy.